When the calendar flips to October, we are so excited to celebrate Member Appreciation Month. So today we're gonna to be talking all about the credit union difference and why we're awesome at city and county credit union. Have you ever wondered how city and county credit union got its name? Let's take a short walk back in time. In general, when credit unions first opened their doors, it's to serve a certain group of people. And when credit unions first started to gain popularity, it was to serve a certain employee group or a company. City and County was no different. In 1928, we first opened our doors to serve the City of St. Paul employees and Ramsey County employees, hence our name. And actually, when we got started, our name was City and County Employees Credit Union. It wasn't until 1998 that we changed our name to what it is now, City and County Credit Union. And then in 2002, we knew we had a bigger mission to serve. Our community needed access to financial resources. So in addition to serving our employee groups, we expanded with the state of Minnesota to serve people who live, work, worship, volunteer, or go to school in Ramsey, Washington, and Dakota County. In 2019, we took that even further by merging with Mill City Credit Union. And now today, we serve eight different counties in the east and west metro of the Twin Cities, in addition to our original founding partners, the city of St. Paul, Ramsey County, and General Mills. We have over 60,000 people who have accounts with us. And my favorite, we're still living true to our mission that first opened our doors 100 years ago. We believe in empowering our members to do more with their money because we're city and county credit union. As a credit union, we are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. So you might be thinking, what the heck does that mean? Let's break it down. As a not-for-profit, our goal isn't to make money, but if we do, we take that money and we reinvest it back into our community, like sponsoring local events so they're free for families to attend, or offering free financial education classes. In addition to that, we also give back to our members, so you get lower interest rates on things like credit cards and loans, and higher savings rates on your accounts. Speaking of those people that have accounts with us, they are what makes us a financial cooperative. They are considered a member of the credit union as well as an owner. So if I came into city and county today and I deposited $5 into my savings account, I would be considered a member of the credit union as well as an owner. And really as part of our give back, in addition to helping our members, we love giving back to our communities and we're so proud to do so at city and county credit union. Last year, we donated nearly $100,000 to organizations in our community across 117 organizations in total, and we taught 1,700 kids a financial education lesson. So why should you care? We believe you should bank at a place where you and your community matters. Is there a difference between credit unions and banks? Does it matter? The answer to both of those is yes. And the reason why it matters is because you get a choice on where you put your money. So let's talk about the three key differences between credit unions and banks. So for starters, credit unions are owned by the people who have accounts with us. We call them member owners. Banks on the other side are owned by shareholders. So somebody who typically invests in the business. That brings me to point number two. Credit unions are not for profit. So that means any extra money that we make needs to go back to the people who have accounts with us called our member owners. That could be through low loan rates, that could be to little to no fees on accounts, community give back, providing free financial education like we're doing now. On the other side, banks are for profit. So any extra money that the bank makes goes back to their shareholders because again, it's in their name, they're for profit, that's their business model. The last key difference is credit unions are insured by the NCUA and banks are insured by the FDIC. Now, there's acronyms everywhere, so I'm not even gonna tell you what they mean, but what I do want you to know is that both credit unions and banks are insured, meaning if something were to happen to your financial institution, like we burn down or something really scary happens, this government agency will come in and match your dollar for dollar up to $250,000. So if you have $100 in your savings account, city and county burns down, which is never going to happen, this government agency will come in and match the money that you have in your account. Now I wanna say this, there is a place for both in the community, banks and credit unions. But I'll be honest, we're a little biased here because we really believe credit unions is where it's at. Thanks for tuning in to another city and county credit union video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow along on social for more financial tips and tricks.